what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel hope all you guys are doing great had a merry christmas and happy new year's to everybody but um thanks for staying in to these new uh videos and supporting the channel as well uh if you guys are new like uh the video subscribe i make uh, videos uh here and there about my uh, vehicle so you guys can see i got my uh bug eye on that side i got my 135 on this side and this is uh my little octopus he's on the happy side today but let's get started with the video hope the lighting is all right um but uh as you guys, uh, as you guys saw in the thumbnail um i got a mirror dash cam that's right you guys can see a dl12 mirror dash cam by a queso a castle what it whatever you guys want to call it um i'm gonna try to install it today i've never installed one of these so i'm gonna um i'm learning as well but i know the the results gonna be pretty good and uh let's get started so i'll show you guys what's inside of this box all right so first of all we got this beautiful mirror um dl12 dual dash cam mirror uh, you just can see it's already turned on um, looks really nice I just got to take this little plastic off uh, over there but let's uh let's turn that off for now then we got let's see what we got here we got our uh, rear camera right here to plug in to the back some wiring in there uh, some what is it like adhesive double sided tape or something like that and then what else do we got here? We got this what GPS, really nice, really nice with some uh, double sided tape there, and uh, I'll probably stick it somewhere here where you can't see it. Um, let's see, you got this uh, car charger adapter as well, really nice. Then, ooh, we got these straps. Want to focus we got these straps what else we got here a pry tool if you guys need it and a cleaning cloth so really helpful they'll uh they'll hook you up with that and what is this cable clips maybe yeah but um let's get started guys let's go all right guys let me just run you guys through this real quick so right here see if it focuses uh okay there you go you got your gps uh port right there and then this side you got your mic bureau sd car slot um most of these should have one and then you got your rear view mirror camera which is gonna be connected to here and then uh this is your mini usb port that's gonna be connected to your cigarette lighter so luckily this car has one under here and one under here so um which is nice. I'm not only going to be using one in case I need the other one. Um, I'm glad it comes with two. And then your beautiful, uh, I think it records at 2.5K, uh, 1080p. And then your power button over here. So simple, pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the very first thing I'm doing is uh, I'm trying to place this on the mirror uh, right where I want it. Uh, you could always uh, stretch the camera out. I don't know if you guys can see right here. You guys can stretch out the camera um, further out so uh, it covers your whole mirror. What I'm doing right now is I'm just sticking these straps in here and you're just gonna wanna turn it all the way and stretch it all the way until it clips to the bottom of your new uh, dash cam. So, sorry, let me see if I could. Let me see if I could strap this down real quick without ripping it because uh, there we go. So that should sit pretty good. Look at that. Oh, that looks nice. So it looks, looks good. All right, guys. So I did gift my girl uh, this right here and um, I'm really starting to like it so I think I'll buy 
the bad guy one so she won't feel bad um i don't think i needed it but yeah, you never know what happens in front of you or in the, the rear view all right guys it's all hooked up to my uh cigarette lighter um so everybody wants to know how how to rewire this so this is kind of how i did it so um this wire i just took it under this top up here and i went all the way up to here here let's see if i can put up the brightness a little bit hope that helps okay i went all the way up here i went through this airbag i tried not to go all the way down but then i went through this little liner black liner all the way down all the way down all the way down to about here right and then i don't want to cross it through the back of the seat or through like the front because um i don't want it to be in the way when i move up the seat and let me uh okay so um i rewired it i went down here since it's kind of like a lot of cable i was able to to um to go over this two times so i went like this right since there was a lot of cable um and i went up here all right same thing up here and then sometimes you're able to take this uh center dash kind of like stretch it out pull it out and you can always tuck in the wires under here kind of what i did all the way until i got to here so luckily this car has two of them one here and one here um but yeah if you guys only have one you only uh you got another other choice but just to use that one but luckily this one has two so um i don't mind it as you can see he can't really tell also from the outside let's see how it looks from the outside um looks uh looks pretty good you can't really see the dash cam which is pretty neat um kind of hides under there but um all right next uh i guess we're plugging in this gps um shouldn't be too hard as well so i'll probably put it around here somewhere in the corner where like it's not obvious or just probably up there somewhere where it's kind of hidden uh and not in the way so as well i'm gonna connect this to a little port right on top of here it's kind of hard to do it i should have done it before like when it was off of the beer and then put it back on because as you can see i have like minimal space right here to plug stuff in but i'll make it work i did it with this one but um i'll rewire it as well i'll try to tuck everything under here most of the cable since it is pretty long um which is nice to give you a nice uh this bird's have more than less right but um i'll try i'll try to stick everything under here and then i'll probably put it in this corner over here for sure kind of like it there better so let's do that all right fellas so i think we connected everything the only thing i didn't connect was the rear rear view camera only because i still have to drill holes um oh my camera's about to die all right guys so i'm continuing the video on installing the camera on the 135 it was probably months from where i last stopped but let's continue um, I don't know why I left off, but I disconnected the battery and um, I located the the wire that I will be cutting, which will be this first one, the brown one, which holds the 12 volts uh, reverse um, light. So I will be cutting into this, splicing it, and then I'll be um, I'll connect it with one of these um, butt splice, he heating it up and making sure. Um, everything sealed um but yeah let's let's get to it <clears throat> all right guys so let me just show you guys what i did real quick um so i double checked sorry uh, in the last clip i said it was this one this is actually your ground you're gonna want to splice into this black and purple one um i'm not sure in other bmws but in the one series it, it will be like that so i just i um i cut both of these and then i connected this one with this and then I um, I heat it up and make sure it's all, all good. I'm gonna put some electrical tape so uh, everything 
um, is uh, pretty snug and doesn't move around. But now <clears throat> I got this working. I made sure it worked. So I turned on the car the battery's back on. And um, so let me just show you guys real quick where I will be mounting this. So let me just disconnect this real quick. So I took off one of the LED uh, lights from the back. And um, let me just show you guys how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to put this inside through here. All right, I'm going to feed it in through there, this side. And it should, co should come out through, through this back side somewhere. So if I put my hand in, under here through the middle, uh, through where this uh, one comes out through, let me show you guys real quick. Where is it at? Right here. So if I sneak in my hand through here, you should be seeing it right here. So you see my finger right here? Pretty easy. So I will be mounting it from here. So if I drag this cable down like I am here. Um, but that leaves with the problem of actually closing this in. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill in through here since there's a lot of space through this backside. I'm gonna feed this cable in just like how I did and then I'll, uh, I'll mount it in so let's get to that all right so we just finished let me just show you guys really quick what we did Hold on. so we drilled through here all right then we ran the cable through here we connected it and I uh, taped it and went down here and we drilled it through here uh, I'll cover this up so no water gets in through here. But um, yeah, I went through there and then I ran this cable in through here and into the back of the uh, rear headlight uh, assembly. And then I ran the cable that comes from the cigarette um, port to uh over here so i just tucked it under here back here i zip tied it and i tuck it in there kind of looks kind of looks funky but at the same time nobody's really pays attention to your trunk unless like mine you have a little junk back here but don't mind that i'm gonna clean this up in a bit um but yeah i think that's about it other than that i'm just gonna install this and then we'll try the rear camera and see how it looks very nice all right, fire it up. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can't even tell. Got you guys on camera. Uh. <laughs> so. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell since so I can put the brightness up a little bit. If I'm able to, let's see here. Where you at? Is there a brightness feature on this? Okay. Alright, so I'm trying to get the the brightness a little bit higher, but let me, guys, let me show you guys how it looks. So the reflection's kind of fucking off. The reflection's too much, but this side we got the front view camera, obviously. And then we got the back view camera working. Pretty stoked about that. You could just switch into either the front. Let me just load here. Took a little bit. Oh no, that's where so swipe this way yeah you could just see that one or you could just see the back one pretty cool for the for the money i kind of forgot how much i got it for since it's been a while since i've uh kept up with the video but um like i said if you guys want to pick one of these up i'll do my best to uh link in the description all the details and stuff like that um but yeah it's, it's really cool uh, ever since we've had it uh just from the front view camera it's helped a lot especially for my wife since like in the neighborhood we're living in it's kind of bad so it's uh it's pretty convenient but now that we have the bag uh it's gonna help a lot 
not that she doesn't know how to park, but just for somebody's things, for uh, our, for her safety most of all. But um, yeah, um, hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe, or comment. If you guys have any questions, I will be uh, putting up more videos um, of installing uh, parts in this car and the bug eye. Currently, we have uh, the bike guy going to Subi Fest. We're we'll trying to make it to Subi Fest um, later in September. So we got some parts that have been already installed and parts that are still coming. But, um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like and stay tuned because there's a lot more content coming up. Uh, and yeah, guys, uh, stay safe and thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.